All right, so uh, Bilal actually registered this one, but he's not here. He should have been online, but he's not, so we've got, he's obviously done excellent blueprinting, so I'm exactly. sure we can go through this. Uh, just give us a second to... Uh, <laughs> to read. <laughs> so the session is about uh, the libunity integration with, uh, I guess, first the default application, we have some the desktop, and then a list of, you know, some candidates, so... I think it's a good way to engage the community to support application in Ubuntu and in Unity in particular. So we can just brainstorm about what can be added. So in some design and input as well. What can be added, what will be useful for yeah. you know, you yeah, with the users and stuff like that. So, so yeah, it seems to already have a list. Of what is already integrated. Oh. So we have Rampassi. <laughs> And evolution. Cooper does count, right? <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. Not counts in the, the launcher, but it does do quick list. Okay. Alright, so I guess happy with empathy is integration, I'm assuming it's fine. So yeah, it's but my it's like oh. it. Does it show the badge if you have many other messages? Sorry? Does it show the badge if you have any other messages? Yeah. Okay. But the thing is that it's you know sometimes the same than the, in the indicator message, and, but I think it's fine. Yeah. It's not intrusive. It's not right. It's not, and the launcher hides a lot of the time. So exactly. We're missing evolution doing the same. Though. No, no, evolution no, is doing the same. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What? Could you could you give the wood different effects so that so that applications like yeah. train can actually see what they could benefit from it? Uh, it's uh, it, 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 it. maybe let's start with that. Uh, it's Unity Lodge IP1, I guess. Yeah. Just to see what, how it can say what the first is the Lodge. So start, we're trying to over, over the cycle. We're going to try and move these into the developer dot. And kind of just making that so what you can do to integrate with the Unity Launcher is so you can add some Kanban, uh, but there is no special meaning to the Kanban, so it really depends on the application. You can add a, pro a progress bar, and so it's uh, the application which updates the progress bar behavior. Also, we have a, a static and dynamic quick list. So, so quick list is what you have when you right click on a launcher icon. Uh, static, quick, static quick list are there for any time, even if the application is started or not. So like we can take a screenshot uh, or, or whatever. But what do we have for, well, yeah, we can open a new window for some application and stuff like that. And we have also the dynamic quick list, which just happens when the application is open. And they can refresh this quick list and change, change uh, from the context and stuff like that. So yeah, so that's, yeah, we have some good documentation, I guess, for that. You yeah. should just move it. And it just has, it's so, it's GIR, and it has some <coughs> so. And we have GIR GIR and stuff, so it should be easy to use. What we're missing is a little unity dash cube, which will have this cycle. So the cute apps can get in there as well, <coughs> easily. Yeah, there's a one thing I'd say is try and use the Unity as much as possible, and don't use the Vbus API. Don't because it changes <laughs> as we add more stuff in, and it will break. <laughs> I'm going to do fun stuff to stop people using that this <laughs> uh, So I've been, I've been doing some community building around quick lists and I've got a ton. Uh -huh. um, and if you guys want to, I have some that I think we should talk about if you guys want to go through them or yeah, we, I don't know what your agenda is. So. Well, we, have, we have to go through the main apps I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. The agenda, so, can, can I ask a little bit about that? Sure. Do you, do you think people are happy Edit in the desktop file, or we need some other way to do it. Is that so, someone made a GUI tool to edit the .dot desktop file. I think yeah. the best way to do is we've got enough community participation of people editing the desktop file. The thing we need to do is help them get that into the upstream .dot desktop file. Is That's. That, I mean, I, is that a problem though? Is it we need to say um, the shortcuts are actually stored in a different files, so people can edit them easier? Or right. So I would like to have easier. a tag. We have a tag called quick list something. I basically need help from Ken or someone who's like the integrator guy, basically getting these into Ubuntu packages. As far as the desktop files themselves, they're community vetted, they work. They're constantly being kept up to date. What? So we were gonna need to help 
some of these people yeah. talking to upstream and filing the bug upstream because you did a lot of work to make it so that upstreams can keep the dot desktop files without breaking another desktop. So, right. Right. so right now it's it seems to be working okay. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. Yeah, yeah, especially now now that um, Natty's so before Natty came out, we did not have a lot, and then. I, once you guys still see the list, the community is really doing a good job putting stuff together. Can we SRU desktop files? I mean, or what is that like we want to SRU these? Because things. you need translation and. Yeah. Okay. Because it seems like it would be nice. You I mean, pretty much know they won't break. Yeah, but, yeah, but we're fine. still changing how things behave, the uh, SRU team. Yeah. So, so it's, it's a user interface change. So yeah. Effectively, user interface. Oh, yeah, that's why translations are a big problem. With yeah. Stuff, so that's fine. Yeah. So it'd be nice to have more people. Yeah. yeah. And for power users, editing, uh, putting a dot dot stuff on dot local share whatever is like. The other not thing is, bad. I think this cycle is obviously strange because we want Unity just wasn't ready half the time or broken half the time. Right. Whereas the cycle, I mean, on Rick, we should have people using it early, the new yeah, patches, right. enough that we get it into it. Right. Um, as we get uh, you know, suggestions and things, things that could use these sorts of quick lists and desktop files, we need to have some sort of a, you know, process to re kind of vet those, make sure we really want to add those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't want to just go like insane and everything has 50 menus. Yeah, well, um, what we're doing in, on the list on Ask Ubuntu is they're kind of voted on and the so crap ones. For, <coughs> at least, you yeah. know, gauge for us to how popular. <laughs> Right. Which is why we need to make sure that we're getting those into the actual packages instead of So is there are people when they use the editor tool, are right they care that they can push those upstream? So that's something we just need to start communicating to people. Okay. Um, file a bug on your favorite, talk to your favorite application author. Yeah. Yeah, and that's just something that I need to do. If you want to put that as an action, that's actually a major goal for me this cycle. In fact, I've already done that. Okay. So I guess, and I put, yeah. For instance, here's a patch mm -hmm. for the materials, and I think I told, can I link the upstream bugs? Well, maybe not there, yeah. Right. And so upstream is getting um, currently accepting our patches. So okay. we have that in Inkscape, we have that in Lumetils. So we have a good, you know, it doesn't work for them and it helps right. us, so we can. Right. So we should we should put that in the process. Okay, see. I, I'm adding more. <laughs> yeah, I did not know you had an example. I would have, damn. I have an example. <laughs> so I could definitely start that like as soon as I get home. Um, And that's something I can put every time, you know, I see a quick list post and that kind of stuff. I'll, we have a tag for them and everything. It's just uh, ran out of time. I mean, I think one of the issues I think the sort of record points out is the fact that, you know, you come to your system, you had desktop files from four releases ago, and things are, you're not getting those quick lists, because as soon as I add mine, I won't get the distro one, right? Could we do like a computer janitor or something like that? And then you can say, hey, by the way, it looks like you, you added quick lists. Would you like to go to the distro with this? Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the thing that's weird about that, if people put them in that local or whatever, yeah. the, the, isn't policy not to mess with stuff that's in people's? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, the computer generator is sort of, you know, it's responsible for helping you clean up your system. Yeah. I guess it could be. Maybe you're you a separate utility. Yeah. You yeah. have a choice on that. I don't know. Do is, that, is that a problem? I mean, is it a problem enough that we need to solve it, or is it just a... I don't think it's a problem enough. It's going to be power users, and then we'll just go back and update this stuff and say, these custom quick lists are now sh being shipped in 11.10. Blow away everything and blah, 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 blah. Or, sorry, move. Yeah. 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 That, those are people that will probably pay attention to that. Kind yeah, of thing. exactly. So one of the issues we have is the translation in particular, because what we are doing right now is really manual. Like, we put... Because there is no way for Launchpad to import this translation most of the time. Why? Because uh, the... Well, it depends on what, but uh, I discussed that with, uh, with uh, Daniel, and it wasn't really possible. Let me see why. Even if we add the file to the pod file, um, there was something that... I, I think Launchpad is not importing that for whatever reason. So what we did for Firefox in particular, uh, it's not in the port, I guess. No, it's Firefox, it's not just in GetText. Oh, yeah, Firefox and uh, LibreOffice in particular, yeah. So we did that manually. 
and the wiki page, but it's not really. We will have the issue with some apps. Well, secure the apps. Secure. Good. Yeah. Okay. So if you if you want to scale. Okay. Q get text. Q get text. I'm sorry. It's a notepad. Sure. So. Okay. So check what can be done for application. There's a question on IRC. Annoyingly, the quick list revolution are dependent on the launcher, and you have to use the right launch. Yeah. Huh? Launcher? What's the question? Yes. Yeah, like because you have three yes, revolution. Yes, they found the top five so revolution, mm -hmm. and you pin the wrong one, like the middle uh, one, and then there's a comp. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that's the problem with this too, actually, because yeah. if you're like in a chat now, it's a different binary, which is in MP3, and uh, the call dialogue, even in MP2, is the same way. Are you on IRC? So we need to, but if you set your um, window class, right, the MP, they actually find it, right? Yeah, that will, yeah. Okay. So you must not be setting the window class. Can you make, put a, a yeah, to do for me to check on the window class matching and stuff? There's still a bunch of little issues around that, right? If you've got two processes running well, pretending to be one process, and you set urgency from one, you can't unset it from the other. And so on. So there might yeah. be a little bit of breakage around that, but I think we've got. That's the community thing? Yeah, I'll get one connection. Because uh, so your progress bar, right? You, you mean progress. set urgency through the immunity? Or set urgency on the window? Uh, through the end. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, it, it, just, it doesn't do a two way state, which I'll be fixing, but you can put a thing in for me then. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, we go, oh my, having yeah, two processes that yeah. yeah. the user doesn't know he's two processes. Right, yeah, so that'll be, that'll be fixed this time. Yeah, so you'll be able to introspect what the current state is and it will change locally and everything. So then you can. <coughs> Okay, so maybe we can now go through the list of yeah, let's do it. Proposed application and um, so Gribble. Yeah, Gribble already does. Okay, said then. <laughs> not, not account though, I guess. You know what? Just put. We'll make all these work items. So just put done. Okay. Well, but it doesn't do well, account. If you need think it needs account. I don't know if accounts are ever used for these. Because they, they rack up pretty big. I mean, it's like yeah. they're very, you know, you don't necessarily need to react to them. Yeah. Right. So, so like on the map, what is this does? In progress. Uh, no. It right. tells you, so it doesn't tell you reply count or anything. Needs it just tells you all the messages so far since you last checked in. Mm -hmm. All the new ones that came in. That's the only reason why it works. So, because when it gets too high, like shit, I have to do Okay. <laughs> so, no cons? Yeah. So nothing to do for Rebus? Oh, add account. I think oh, you still want to. That's a good point yeah. the usage of the account. You don't want to be mounting something that's not being reset quite quickly. You don't right. have to introduce an obligation to view every single message right, on the account. Because right. then, then you start getting a big number and you have to manually manage it. So in the case of a single account like that, in like the Weber case, as soon as the window is raised, it's zero. Because yeah. 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 you've yeah. the stream. That's what we do in the messaging menu. Yes, I mean, that, that's something to be aware of when other people are thinking of using the account as well. Yeah. So what's next? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm the manager. Uh, concerning, I just I just came down with this. So can I say something against the quick lists quickly? Mm -hmm. um, so you, you've seen Docky and AWM, right? They have these have. dynamic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see the you see the dynamic quick lists that you've been doing there. Why can't um, I mean, so anything that integrates with Zeitgeist, we actually manage to create real time without you know keep on reloading. We create real time. Quick list for them. We did it for Shell too now. I would like to do that for yeah. for Unity, but yeah. It, so this it comes back to the same thing about two different things trying to change one list or one state, and it's something that I'm, look, I'm going to look into. Which so it's specifically for your case, I'm looking into it, like being able to have it, your own section independent of another section, and then you can keep that updated you know, for what you want. Yeah. Yeah. That, Put on there that Zeitgeist so needs it. And maybe you want the porn filter uh, we created for Zeitgeist as, 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 as an application that gets shipped with Unity. No, obviously maybe. not personally, but sure, I'm not sure. Update manager, I think uh, they've added counts now, but I don't think mm. it's natty. 
think that that accounts. Okay. Super update manager. Update manager? Yeah, yeah, that's on the list. It's like scroll bars when it's downloading, too. Yeah, it does that? Okay. No, I don't think it does that. No, it needs a progress bar yeah. when it's downloading. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be really great for automatic downloads. Yeah. Yeah. I, saw, I saw you blog about it, and I think that well, would be totally not account. Yeah. Yep. Since we're talking about accounts, on the messaging that you can put account and you get your device logged in next to something under the application, you can't have accounts on the application. Well, you can, but you get them in brackets and text. Is that fixed? Uh, it's not fixed in Navi, but it will be fixed in Android. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because we're, we're moving to <laughs> having those items be more modular, which will fix that. Do we need quick list for the manager? <laughs> Uh, for what 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 app are we on? Update manager. Do we need quick list? Mm. Static. Yeah. Uh, check for updates. Check, check for updates. Do we want that? I think so. Right click. It's like your app get update every day. Yeah. But it used to be a string it already has. And it's not horrible. Is it? Yeah. It's better than like clicking on it and then waiting for it. To yeah. It's a Python program. So okay. <laughs> Sometime today. So, at least to a game yeah. manager for check. It fixes the CDH Okay. Are we really expecting to have an update manager on the launcher? It's, 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 not, the launcher. it's yeah. not by default. It won't yeah. be yeah. up on unless it's. This is more about just having the information if people. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Banshee, I don't know. Yeah. So, Banshee, so. Okay. You're going to be really John, careful. John Lee. Uh, so. We have the sound, you know, menu and stuff. So we don't want like play next, quick list and stuff in Banshee, do we? Mm. Right. Sections wouldn't be a bad idea. Sections? So like saying having like your, you know, the sources there. like that, so you can like music but you can cue directly to something. Right. Which is, would be an online one only if it's running. Okay. Yeah. And it does use a progress bar for podcasts, I think, when you're downloading them. When you're downloading. Them. Okay. So, is anyone from the Banshee team here? Mm -hmm. Laney? The first is he's, he's not going to be by He'll do it. Okay. So, Laney? Yeah, I'm on the Yeah, it's not. I'm on right. it's not Can you also add NJ Patel and C sharp bindings for. Maybe uh, maybe. And the update manager, can you do something? It's already done. No, no. Sweet. Hmm? It's update manager already has a quick list. He does have a quick list, sorry? He does already. Okay. Did they hear that? Yes, that's okay. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's just not ready. <laughs> <it. laughs> so Banshee needs download progress. No, it's just it uh, depends. It's and and uh, sources and quick lists. <laughs> yeah, he'll know what that means. The sources on the left side. Oh, so okay. your music collection, Last FM, whatever extension people yeah. add, they'll just take them to it, and that'll be better than adding play next and all that crap. Yeah, this is when it's when it's on. I'll have a dynamic one that says here's all my sources. Right. I'm just wondering with uh, Black Media, is are we still going to be popping on the window, or are we going to pop a button on the launcher with the browser of saying Black Media, and have the button that lets you choose what you want to do with the Black Media, yeah. or is that going to remain at the top of the box? I'm I'm not sure. One of the things I'll be adding to Unity is. Well, to live unity so you can actually get if you want to do additional stuff on the the drives that we show or anything on the thing you can get to it but there's no real plan for that okay <laughs> just stop that dialogue right now so next one nautilus no, already yeah you have something to, to say about that it's just just related to that question um, something we do want to change is when you insert this on your like when you insert a USB yeah, through a launcher or something that's all. And the launcher we need to remove the desktop sets on the launcher. Connect so we do have we lost connect to server off the desktop? Yeah. No, so connect to server. It is, but it's so under it's we um, should put connect to server in the quick list. Yeah, yeah that's what we yeah. Yeah. in fact it's there. So if you are in the desktop. Yeah, file. <coughs> yeah. Connect to the server. Sure. Yeah. That should be in the quick list. If you say so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, I think I pointed to the other one. Yeah, you pointed to the other one, so it seemed a little more obscure. <laughs> and also, all the shortcuts? Yeah, so oh, we yes. need a dynamic quick list of Nautilus favorites and shortcuts. Yeah. What that needs to be. So why are they not on the left channel? Oh, yeah, it should be on. Why? It's always me. They're not all the icons in the menus right now. Vice 
Dynamic. So dynamic playlists for or quick lists for for user favorites. Bookmarks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and connect to servers. Yeah. Connect to server will not be dynamic. Right. Yeah. It'll be like us. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, yeah, but do you want uh, a dynamic? I think we, we want a static one. No, we want dynamic because if, if I go and I have a favorite folder and I add it to my bookmarks, I want that in my quick list. Right. Yeah. The issue is that uh, we are not sure that if Node 3, Nautilus will be running the desktop. Fast place is always running. We'll use that to augment Yeah. So dynamic. Need to be done. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see with the uh, with well, the yeah. desktop. There is a process always running the desktop, which is not that. Yeah. And that's before the that's So okay. Yes. <laughs> Next one. Uh, so tomboy, I'm not sure about that one because we already have the indicator. Well, well I'd actually rather it not be an indicator because yeah. it's yep. so we can start finding the validation there, right? Again, might not be the right meeting because we've got issues with indicators and the as well. If it's a complex so if you, if you um, launch to Tomboy, you get the Tomboy up from the launch, you get the Tomboy indicator, you exit Tomboy, you lose the Tomboy from the launch and the indicator remains, and the exit should exit. Yeah. That's not related to, to, yes. to the API, but yeah, it's a non issue and it's a tricky one. Yeah. You know, services and stuff like that, like Tomboy. Yeah. 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 So maybe we should just leave it as an indicator. Uh, personally, I prefer it as a quick list. Me too. I, I really miss that. From I miss that too. Oh, Tomboy upstream. Already slightly annoyed that they had to lose all the dynamic stuff in the menu when it became an issue. Yeah, but that makes even worse than equipment. You can't show which notes to pay. That's what I was yeah. saying. And you can't have, have subtext. Right. Right. So you can't have all the stuff. Also, the nice. thing is, I don't think they have to be against each other right now because we don't have a good story for Tom. Right. But we can, we should, with the C sharp bindings, it'll be for the people like me who don't want to end the thing. Right. We can do something. But yes. The first step is just having the quick so that when you do quick, you put it in both places. Okay. And um, that, that also applies to Skype and some other things, I think. Like Spotify. Yeah, yeah. it's not. It should be not really easy. It should come much be easy for it because it's good. Uh, it didn't happen to your pet or it's the US menu or anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, mm -hmm. But do you want that? I, uh, that's the question. I don't so feel strongly. Do we want the other. that? Because we have that for uh, you and me? Which one? Tomboy is still. So Tomboy yeah. quick list. I'm not sure. To be honest. Uh, let's see if someone steps up, and if not, it's not any worse. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna have we're kind of slammed as it is. Yeah. Um, Nothing else. I might just make a plugin for it, just because I need to test the C sharp bindings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but it's not something that's really mm -hmm. important. Make sure you use the app and use the patches that add this and also the GNU notes. So transmission, <laughs> Kate Lamanda is already working on that. Yeah. Yep. I, we just need to check with him. Who is working? K Clamanda, K K. Oh, K K K. Yeah, but we're not sure too. Mail. Something wrong with your keyboard, there, buddy. No, it's a white keyboard. The other. So uh, transmission integration. So it's in progress. Do you encrypt this button? Doesn't raise the wind back. It doesn't have to, it's up to you. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that's the point. But are you saying that you're not going to get raised by you if you pick up your quick list? Are you sending the new show signal to the app when mm -hmm. they put this up? Yeah, on DBus, maybe. Yeah, no. Should do that, probably. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. they choose to fit you into it for whatever reason. Yeah, good point. Okay, so next one. Please look at that. <laughs> Terminal. Those are fine, but low priority, I think. Yeah. So I still had it as a work item for whoever. Whoever. PT with Terminal quick list. Put a name on it. There's no name on it. Just. Why do you have to? What's that? New window from the terminal quick list. Uh, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. New window and a uh, new tab. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, can I say for two minutes going to be a uh, uh, Python one through GI or something in one? Yeah. 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 
new yeah. tab in, why? it will be the same discussion for Firefox, so we will discuss yeah. that after, I guess, for new tab. <laughs> you can do the terminal much easier than you have Firefox. Yeah. And what happens if you have to do it? Which one's the new tab? We'll go back to the new tab discussion. Uh, yeah, we'll get back to tabs. Those will be complicated. <laughs> so, <laughs> so definitely. So here's the thing: Brazero has a pretty sweet indicator when it's burning the CD. It's like oh. indicator already. So is that something that we would want in the launch? See, I'm confused. When well, I think yeah, progress I'm belongs up here or when it belongs in the launcher, John? Exactly. Well, I think yeah. an indicator is more useful at this point because you might be doing something in the launch is hidden, but you will need to check on the status of the... Yeah, it's kind of a more glancy... Progress of the, of the file copy in, order, in the case of Nautilus slash launcher. Just burn in the case of browser. Launch, uh, in, in, in the case of that happening, if the launch is hidden, where at the kind of, you know, beginning of the progress, the end of the progress, the launch reveals the right. itself and it's value it's done. Um, so I think in, in the case of disk burning, that's definitely a progress book. Okay, so it should be in the launcher. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so in the launcher, and what do we do? Turn it off in the indicator? Are you, can you write up some guidelines for that? Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, um, generally the, the progress bar, it's for things which are making um, tasks, tasks, tasks that last a finite time. Yeah, because I need to know what's going on. Not in depth, depth, and not really long amount of time. They come to an end. Yeah. Things like rendering something, downloading something, burning something, then a typical basis. Okay. Um, things that you wouldn't have in the progress bar are free storage remaining. Um, okay. So, can you add this kind of information to the launcher API list? Because we need upstream authors. It might be like, do you even need this or not? Here are the cases where you, basically what you just said, just on the wiki, so people don't waste their time. Can you drop me email for and I'll do it. Yeah, well, it's, it's the work out of him. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to get my work out of him. <laughs> I mean, we can do a lot of stuff to <laughs> other people, I'm not taking your estimates. One other thing, on the quick list, we've got quite a few kind of new documents, new window options, and we just need to be careful that we're placing them kind of consistently at the top, so that in, in quick list of different applications, that same option is appearing in a, a similar location. Which I think right, we're okay. going to be talking about items of order it should be. Okay, yeah. all right. So, that's so who's doing all the uploads of these is basically you, right? What? <laughs> no, no, I mean, as these are doing, someone on the desktop team needs to make sure that... Okay, so like, make sure that the order is right, new tab and new terminal and all that yeah. stuff is consistent between all well, of them. Okay, so John... Okay, so John... Okay, okay. all right. Okay, so next one, so just enter. I guess progress bar is quite, yeah. yeah. So you were saying yesterday in the backlog that you got the software center. Oh, is that similar in the work it in front? Like being, you know, the installation progress and all that stuff. You've got all that. So we don't need to do anything about that. What do you need For the software center? Yeah. Remember you said you wanted to like drag the, yeah. the application yeah. in there and it'll install. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've already got all that spec'd out and filed in yeah. bug reports. It just is on the backlog queue for DX. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's basically it, so it's in progress. Yeah. Yeah, it will be long to do. Yeah. <laughs> right. What happened? So okay, so next one. Totem. <laughs> so I don't want It's what? the same issue as that please mention in fact. But I'm not sure. Yeah, what well, well, the progress on. Yeah. No. I think it's just that it's an app. Totem, yeah. Totem's not meant to be an application that you start up. It's like I have Gnome, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. You're like, yeah. ditch it. You're, you're, yeah. I'm supposed to think of it as kind of the desktop yeah. built in video player. Yeah. Like, you know, okay. Facility yeah. Like so we don't care? It's like a DVD, so I can do it both. Yeah, they can drop the resume there and play, or you can send your DVD to them. Sorry, we're halfway done. Okay. Um, so, gedit, new document, I, I think, is one. Yeah, I really need a quick list or a new window. But, well, quick list would be interesting. So, nah, actually, it's not shut up. I was thinking of all the open documents if you switch to one quickly. Yeah, or, or like uh, <laughs> recently used, and then you're like, the false place. Yeah. Yeah. 
So just a standard cut, new window, new tab. New document, it's the same. New document, yeah. Just a new document, because I don't think you can do a new window. Yeah. Okay. Right, so I can't sort this in one. What was it? Zeitgeist put the documents into the quick question eventually. To what? To Yeah, we already do that. Yeah. Uh, G, so the G, the new G added has a soft pencil, Zeitgeist. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be making most of the use of it. So we can. The soft pencil, does that mean we need to change the packaging name? I don't know. If you compile, I guess, uh, if you compile it with a Zeitgeist argument, then. Yeah. So, but we need to make sure that we change the package, so that's that. So, what the package will have left. Yeah. So, it's not a bad type of package. It's a It's a Yeah. Yeah. It's a lip But that's actually for a set. So, I think we'll start looking to several applications because also Cheese is doing that. And it's called, uh, maybe Totem is going to go for that too now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, well, if you can totally re think we should yeah. review. Yeah. Make sure Zycax is enabled. On every app we can. Is but it going to be annoying to put a new document in some, but not all the launchers? Because there's also going to be a ton of them yeah. that are done. Well, I think we should. Uh, at least at first. Yeah. So, so if you get people used to the idea, you don't just rotate the new document. Yeah. And then it only works for some of your apps, right? Well, it works for the important ones. Well, I think if we, we can try and make it work for the ones we ship on CD, mm -hmm. then have to be early uh, enough in the cycle so that we have good, like, a good idea of how to make it work. But I think there's a good reason why people want uh, someone to do it with all the apps on the CD. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. We should put, if there's no quick ones, we should put all items in there. How do I put items in the quick ones? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> open a new tab and just fight the whole circle. No, maybe yeah. during development. Well, actually, maybe during development. That's not a bad idea. Could we just pop up the head? App board's turned on. on. We do the app board's turned on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So, and then, you want to play something? Um, maybe you want to integrate some help yeah. stuff on the desktop for new users who don't know about shortcuts, for example, and who want to go to the internet to look for that. Okay. I mean, I think I can is that a quick list thing, though, or is that a... Is a not necessarily a power user, but more advanced users. Um, yeah, thing, right? so we, we, that we ever get to the point where there's something you can't do any other way, I think they failed. Right? Yes. I agree. Um, it's a convenience so, function, not an essential user interface. Right, right, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I think we should just make sure that that's the case, not necessarily pointing people to them. And I think that would be what... Uh, point is, is that there is something here that can be right if there's some more uh, things. I think that that will be better on in the cycle. Yeah. Plus, as people read the documentation and stuff, they'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. So, open a new tab. There is a huge discussion on the bug report if it's needed or not. So right now we have open a new window. And uh, Chris? I don't know why I need to have. I'm going to put more uh, useful entries in there to cycle. I think it's, uh, it's no. more about them to right-click, yeah. open a new tab that just will use If you look at the quick list on other platforms, none of the browsers have got a new tab. They've all got a new tab. Yeah. So, and we're going we're gonna to put the most frequently visited sites in there. Cool. Yeah. So, John, no ID, or Vish? Yeah. For, for, first, first of all, if you, if you, you can have multiple windows open. But if you use the quick list menu item to open the tab, you can't specify which window. Or yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, so yeah, so oh. so the, you need to do that from within a window. The, you want the, 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 the new, new, new documents with the same issue. The new, the new window is definitely the more important option yeah. because there isn't a visible touch point for opening a new window. Um, opening a new tab, if you have the browser open, you've got the pass, you yes. to open a new tab. Can but we do? So that, why don't we just also put the new window into the quick list because you can have a little click on it? Yeah. You know, some people don't have to click on mouse buttons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you set it, when you click it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think the ones are very, it's slightly easier to find, so yeah. it's fine. The other ones are power users. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the middle touch pads, you can't really do with click easy. The middle click is all discoverable. So one thing about quick list is we should try and make it you Same. have to remember it's application level, not multiple. So if your yeah. application uses multiple windows, you've got to be more careful. So tabs yeah. across multiple oh, windows. Oh, I'll talk to you about this later on. If you got some okay. time. Yeah. And, and Chris, you did say we definitely can't do start in privacy mode as a quick list, right? We can do total privacy mode. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be useful because yeah. Chrome does that in Windows and it's 
Oh, you can do a checkbox, right? Yeah. So then you can have a checkbox for in privacy mode. Oh, OK. So privacy mode? For yeah, that's something I'll just keep That's interesting. People yeah. might not know that there are like, top. Like, I have no idea. There are top. Well, there there's are a few things elements. Things like, more than just labeling. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. we should do a quick list. Uh, just a picture that shows it. Yeah. 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 Just like with, with progress bars. Just the, like, the, like, does the API allow for describing what the progress bar is for textually? No. No. no, no that was I put that up on the mailing list. Do that. I did. Yeah. For example, we should show that. Yeah. And the right, even, 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 for people that think, yeah, too. even for yeah. people that don't need accessibility, I mean, I can't, I, I can't tell what the progress bar is indicating in, in, from a browser. It could be anything. Stunning. Yeah, yeah. we have no way of showing yeah. text. I'm just saying that's a that's a that's a problem. Maybe as part of the tool, just on a maybe as part of the tool to have tools for the application needs. Should we be like that? Don't mind. Oh. Yeah, it's a problem with the uh, curve, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, but I am thinking it's really limited. Yeah, yeah, I think we will add it. Can you put something for me? This? Sure. That Libby in a t shirt. Man, a lot of actions today. Description. <laughs> So you, yesterday yeah, we got horrible. Like, send me an update manager, update manager downloading such and such the same. Yeah, we got that yeah, one. Thinking, yeah. We, yeah, yeah, we got that one. Yeah. What do you want? So, so the community needs to have a way of describing why there's a counter, why there's a progress. For, for, for accessibility. For accessibility. Neil. So to clarify so everyone knows what you actually can do with this, um, you can have obviously list items. You can have check boxes, so on or off, effectively. You can have radio lists, and you can have separators. Is there anything I'm missing from that? That's, that's what that's, that's what you need to add to that. No. That what so, I gave so, you. Yeah. So when you're thinking about this, you can think of you know radio, radio select lists, radio radio lists. lists. Okay. and separators. So you, I think you can get category headers. Okay. It would be interesting to do that for like Inkscape for the view mode. Hmm. Well, that would be a good option. I was just saying, you know, when you zoom into. All right, so what's next? So what's next? Embassy? I'm not sure about that. I, I think a lens is more, more, more sense yeah, than that's a lens. Least. That's a lens. I agree. Don't care, so. Yeah, well, yeah. No. Yeah. Ah. Oh, no, I think what it's saying is. No, so then you just focus the application. You're on the audio. I mean, you focus the application, you mm -hmm. get the contact list. Yeah. And it looks like it's going to be really long. Yeah, exactly. Um, we have five minutes left. No, oh, I think okay. you just wanted one item that says contact list, which takes you always to the contact list. So, the GIMP. Uh, um, it was planned to do to do that for new image, but it's just a lot to patch. So it's not easy technically to do that. So if someone wants to step up and universe will accept patches, not priority. That's what I recommend. We don't have time. Mm -hmm. Game's not easy. Yeah. Why it would open a new window? Well, it will open a new window. And so you will have again a new bar and a new. Yeah, you open five new windows. It opens a new instance of the application every time. There's a debug screen to do it. <coughs> <coughs> I don't think we're going to do a new application camera. No, we don't need it to do that. This is an exact order. We have to make it No, but if there's a debug even for the current one. Oh, it doesn't have a known name. Yeah. yeah. Why you? <laughs> <laughs> um, there is one item about Thunderbird. Basically, do the same than Evolution. Yeah, those guys have got it. They're, they've been talking about it all week, okay. so I think they're fine. So, um, just to wrap up, I think that we'll send people on that, but if anyone from the community wants to step up, I think, you know, we won't put that as a priority for us. Um, if someone wants to do the work, um, I think it's something really easy to get into. So yeah. I think we should make that. Can you blog about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Can you mention those library office and things like that? Yeah, I, I want to show you guys the library office idea I have. I want to go through that list of community. Okay. If you want to open a new tab and just do for list of Unity quick lists in Google. Uh, a site colon ask a or something. Yeah, those are the bugs, yeah. 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 yeah.
Right there. And then... <coughs> Someone paste that in IRC. Scroll down. So this one basically we got, right? This will be the Nautilus one. And then keep going. Just, yeah, go down to the next one. Not that one. Keep going. That is awesome, though, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that one's awesome, too. Uh, but keep going. <laughs> this one we've got already. Keep going. That one we're not going to do. Keep going. <laughs> Hold on. I'm getting, I'm getting to it. Here it is. What do you... So th I did this because I've got like a bunch of Libre. Oh, where'd John Lee go? Oh, I've got a bunch of Libre Office ones, and I like collapsed it into one. Brilliant. Can we do this? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, it's different desktop files, so it's. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. But what about? <coughs> oh, you're here. When? <laughs> so what happens when draw and write are out? Yeah, I was just about to ask the same question actually. Well, we, this would be dynamic based on what you have installed, no, right? No, no. When you have the app running, it's going to add another launcher. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that you need to right click and wait. Uh, That's a bummer. Let's go file which are only made for creating people lists. Okay. So you can really yeah. click on them and you launch and the people list shows up. Yeah, that's what that was. Yeah. Okay, just, never mind. I thought it was going to be awesome. It says the class is just what would be about uh, hosting files mm -hmm. and the profit. And the same issues and with other applications. I'm not sure what you want to do with some files. Recent files will be shown from the side guys. So we better have the reference scenario. Yeah, that case. Is there work to integrate liberal office and things? What else do I have? Anything else cool? I can't imagine. Paging down. Yeah, let's make sure that happens. That would be the real software folks. Yeah, see, like, I don't know why we do want, like, the profile manager. Mm. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, not average. So a bunch of these, so right, you know, a bunch of these, that one's clever. Um, you know, we just need to work with these guys to get these upstream. Yeah. You see? Uh, like, the Minds one is pretty clever. Okay. For those of you that play Minds so often, you put on your launcher. you want to change it Anything else? That's the Everyone's using Yeah. 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 It's already oh, there. okay, okay. Is there a limit to the number of items in practice? There should be. 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 Okay. So, yeah, so here's what I think with like the limits and them getting crazy. If someone wants to do them and make custom ones and share them with people, I think that's fine. But by default, if we're doing, if you're doing a little review and you see something that's crack rock, mm -hmm. you know, just refer oh, to Havoc's thing about absolutely. quick lists but and be like... I'm more worried about dynamic quick lists. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In a situation where you might not really predict the number of results you might get back. Well, and... oh, you would do a limit. Like in... So Chrome on Windows has like dyna dynamic quick lists, and they just five. Yeah. And then after that, they just rotate out. Okay, so yeah. So that was essentially my question. Yeah, like, yeah, I've got yeah. Thirty Nautilus bookmarks. Cool, that's it. We're out of time. We can even make you know some kind of contest. Which means if you make yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. I don't think yeah. choose which file I want to and that's just me. Yeah, yeah. Let's get. All right, all right. Last comment, and then we're done. I think the quickest items on Windows are actually limited by the platform as well. For for looking looking at the Firefox code. 
for the, for the windows to fit looks like. They're assuming that the platform actually limits the number of entries they can have. So do we, maybe we should have a limit. It's on dynamic quick lists only. Yeah. It's it's on, on dynamic quick lists only. services on Mac OS, they had a very similar idea with services, where you should essentially you could add services from each application to the right-click menu. It didn't work out until about one year ago, they introduced the control panel for services. So now user can customize what's in the control, what's in the services for each of the services would like to have, which is exactly the quick list uh, yeah. principle. You have to enforce a limit in the platform. Yeah, just make a limit. Really enforce a limit. Five items. Or, I'm sorry, I'm John? Five items. Uh, five items. Uh, five items. Five no, no, I mean per dynamic quick list or whatever. No, but you want, you want to do it so it's based on your resolution. How much can you display? Okay. For the applications we ship, we um, for what we see, we need to you know, follow and encourage good practice. Right. I don't think we should be kids, you know, putting yeah, a very hard limit. I think we should all the cases yeah. that we work yeah. in yeah. yeah. Especially because if you enforce the limit, what happens to the uh, items that are not there? Exactly. Yeah, well, yeah. 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 Like, there are more yeah. items, click here, right. yeah. yeah. like, yeah. 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 showing that like, yeah. Okay, so the app is responsible for not being yeah. crazy. Uh, Unity government it can't be told on the screen, because you can't, you're not going to get very slow like that. Yeah. But you could do something like show eight items and a more button after that. That's always been a failure. Oh, no. Now, yeah. now we're going to add clocks in this thing. No. We're not doing that. We're not doing that <laughs> anymore. They'll be cut off if we, there's not enough space, but initially we should just not promote those types of things. Right. And then we just make fun of that guy. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so that's basically so, it. Yeah, awesome. A lot of work items. Thanks everyone.